Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will install a mail server on CentOS 6.5, 64 bits. Let's go. First of all, we have to download iRedMail from their official website, which is iRedMail.org. We have to download the archive, copy link address. Sorry, copy link address. Let me see if we have w get okay let's download this archive extract the file files now we downloaded this mail server files first of all we have to set up the host name of this server we can do that by editing this file network I will put mail.erdomain.com we will use this domain for this installation it's not an actual domain but for this testing purposes it's enough second of all we have to edit host files file in etc we have to put here mail.yourdomain.com mail.yourdomain.com here we have the installation script for iRedMail we will execute it with bash command the installation is starting checking new version, generating YAM repository, everything is going on. Sorry again for my bad accent, I will try to improve it. I hope you enjoy this video, if you enjoy it, please hit the like button. First of all, the dialog application will be installed in order to be able to pop up the setup dialog on our screen in console mode. Okay. Thanks for your use of iRed Mail. Thank you too. As default mail storage path, we will use this slash var slash vmail. database backend I like to use MySQL it's more popular as they say we have to set up a password for MySQL root I will use test123 you don't have to use test123 it's not recommended you will put your server at risk our first virtual domain name for this mail server we will use your domain.com for this testing purpose we have to specify a password for the administrator user postmaster it's actually the user that we are going to use in order to add domains to add users to domains and so on I will use test one two three but again you don't have to use this uh, password it's not safe optional components I will let all of them I'm okay with this configuration. Continue, yes. Okay, now the files are getting downloaded and installed. It's going to take a while, as you can see, there are many files, many dependencies. If you have a fast internet connect connection, it will go fast. I have a fast internet connection, so that's why all the files are getting downloaded quite fast. I believe it's not going to take 20 minutes for this installation. Let's see. If we face 
any difficulties I hope not Okay, the installation is almost done. Okay, would you like to use firewall rules provided by iRed Mail now? No, I don't want to use them. Would you like to use MySQL configuration file shift within iRed Mail now? Yes. Now the antivirus will download signatures. It's fast. Okay. okay, the installation is done. We only have few steps in order to make this mail server up and running. First of all, in order to be able to receive outside emails from outside the network, we have to disable the gray listing. We can do that by accessing one file, which is in etc. Policy D and the file it's cluebringer.com we have to search for the gray listing which is down below in the file gray listing module enable one we have to select zero for this setting in order to be able to receive outside emails now we just save the file of for the second of uh, the second step after the installation we just have to open this installation file which shows us all the details we need about this installation details that we, we've selected during install as you can see account password everything we selected Dakim key support and we have to add it in our name ser server for our domain zone in order to be able to send emails without sending them to spam folders so we can do that by opening our zone file for for this domain this is just a test you will have your own domain I will add it here Okay, as you can see, I have one line here, SPF record, which again will make sure that our domain is trusted to use this mail.yourdomain.com. It's useful for other web uh, mail server mail servers to be sure that we won't send 
the files in spam folder. We just have to save this file and again that's it we have to reboot shut down minus r now they say to reboot we will do it no harm okay now we just have to wait for the system to get up I really hope you enjoyed this video it's a very fast way and safe to install a mail server on a Linux operating system I will try to do the same installation on a Linux Ubuntu because there are quite a few differences when setting up some details on your server it's quite fast easy anyone can install this I will copy this link it's our administration interface so we can add domains and users let's see if the server is up okay it's up okay I just want to check something with IP tables okay I will stop IP tables I've selected that I don't need their IP tables file but they copied it whatsoever I will stop for now you can configure it later on to add your rules okay now we are going to administration interface we don't have the trusted security certificate probably you will want to buy one for your installation okay login to manage your mail domains and account postmaster at yourdomain.com test123 this is our interface to add a user we have to add a user from here I will add test account with password test123 test123 display name test it's optional but doesn't matter here you ha you can use this user ID option it will help you log in in your email box without having to use the entire email address you just use test user ID I will save the changes and I will log in to the client web interface domain.com mail again the security certificate is not trusted that should not be a problem for us okay we are logged in in the interface let's do a test test at yourdomain.com test test send message sent successfully we received it from test at yourdomain.com I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm happy that we didn't face any issues with it if you liked it press the hit button enjoy bye